I'm baffled. I'm confused. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm, I don't even really have what when I tell you. Praying for justice. More questions than answers tonight after a woman is found dead in her Grand Crossing home. Nate Rogers is live with the story. Nate. Yeah, Dawn and Anthony, loved ones say it just does not make sense. Aaliyah Newell was known to maintain a tight-knit circle of sorority sisters and even professional colleagues. And we've also learned that she had just been recovering from a major stroke that she had suffered last year. Her family members and friends tonight devastated as police search for answers. My friend was beaten to death. I don't... I don't know how to process that. Aaliyah Newell was a graduate of U of I Champaign-Urbana. Professionally, she worked in human resources, also working as an adjunct professor, a very active member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority. That's where Soros saw her last this past weekend at an AKA conference in downtown Chicago. She went on a date and then I was I expected to hear from her. I was calling and texting. Other sores were doing the same. Wednesday night, police found the 47-year-old beaten to death inside her home near 72nd and Vincennes. Her best friend doing a well-being check found her restrained face down on the floor with the front door unlocked. Even more bizarre, Newell's black Mercedes Benz was found parked one block behind her home at 72nd and Perry. Tell me she why. always parked in the garage or right here. We are girl with parking spots. Cachulia Martin and Newell are neighbors. They dog set for each other from time to time. As police work to identify the killer, checking surveillance footage at Newell's home and whatever neighbors may have captured, Martin hopes the case will be solved expeditiously. Whatever happened, yeah. somewhere, somehow, Somebody should see or know something. Yeah, we also learned that Newell was excited about becoming an aunt as her sister is currently expecting. Now, police also told us that many items were stolen um, from Newell's home, a home that she occupied by herself, items including electronics. No suspects are in custody at this time. We're live outside Chicago Police Headquarters. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.